Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I just want to go over something really quick. Um, I did say in a previous video I was going to handle this, um, so I'm deciding to do it right now um, while I got some time. Okay, uh, we're going to actually install an SSH banner for your Linux operating system or server. Um, this also includes Raspberry Pi OS as well, so if you want to do this in your Raspberry Pi like I do, um, it's actually a cool little tool, it's a nice thing to do it. It's also a very good security measure, um, or at least when it comes to prosecution of, you know, hackers or someone, you know, trying to gain access to your servers unlawfully. Um, putting this, you know, actual code or technically banner in front of them, you know, it gives them the, like, hey, listen, if you do do this, you know, we're going to find out and you will be prosecuted. Um, and a lot of times people kind of look the other way on that one because, hey, I can't sit there and say I didn't know whose server this was when it's clearly stated right there on a banner. So most people's SSH logins looks very similar to what you see on the screen here. But what we're going to actually do is we're going to actually change it to something that looks something like this. So let me go ahead and just make it just a wee bit bigger. So you can see when you log in, you get your pre-authentication banner. You know, you have your nice ASCII text here for authorized access only and gives you a little bit of legal information letting you know, hey, this is, you know, a property of a company. If you don't belong here, you know, you will be monitored for any unauthorized attempts and accesses. And if you are caught doing that, you will be prosecuted to law enforcement and so on and so forth. Um, please leave. You're not allowed as we put it down here. So this is a nice little thing to put into it. Like I said, this doesn't stop people from logging into it. If he wants to log into it, he still can do this. But the nice thing with this, it kind of deters a few people out there who are just kind of, you know, messing with people's servers and livelihood just because they can. Um, usually this will actually make somebody think twice about it. Whether or not you're actually going to do it or not, prosecute them. Um, it's still going to make them think, you know, twice. Now. Like I said, I have this on my Raspberry Pi at home for testing purposes, so... I mean, I'm not going to prosecute anybody because, one, you can't get to it, but, hey, it is what it is. So it's very simple to actually do this. Um, for the most part, the banner is just written out in just straightforward, you know, text. You can use ASCII text, you can see here, or just straight-up text. And then to actually implement it, it's very simple. You would just copy and paste it into a banner file and just attach it to your SSH. So we're going to go over that real quickly now. Um, I currently have two... Uh, versions of Linux running a Raspberry Pi one which we see here and I just installed this fresh Debian one as you can see here so we're actually gonna you know pretty much turn this into this you know within a few minutes and it really does take a few minutes so let's go here and open up our Debian so two things you want to do before you start this is one you should go ahead and make sure it's a static IP address because this is your server and it should have a static IP you should also make sure you're not using root um, because if you watch any of my previous videos on SSH, we disable root every time. So root can't log in SSH even if you, you know, don't put the banner up there. Um, so it's better to actually have a separate user with sudo in, attached to it. So for just to give you an idea, I am lo logged in as VM Advisor. And if I type in groups and my name, as you can see here, i am just got sudo on here. You should add a few more to the group if you needed to, but just for these video, I just want to make sure I actually do have sudo for this because you're going to need it to actually do this install. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to open up my documents folder here to show you that there are four files. We're mainly going to work with these three here. This one I'll explain at the end of the video um, what this does. This is the post authentication message. Um, but if you use like encryptions and something like that, it's really kind of useless. So what I'm trying to say here is this part that you see right here, that's the post authentication. Um, you can change that, but again, as you can see here, I use an encryption and it doesn't actually put it in there because it's actually, you know, it automatically knows, hey, th you're allowed to be here. You have the encryption key that connects to the server. So mainly we're just going to stick with the pre-authentication and not as much as the post. But I will show you where to edit the post at the end of the video. So let's go back here. So what I did was I went on the internet, found something I really liked, went ahead and edited it, and I got this. So I changed a few things in here, so on and so forth, and we're good. Um, all you do is save this as a text file for later on if you want to edit or change it. Um, but what we're going to do is right now is I'm going to take this, I'm just going to copy the whole thing if it doesn't freeze up on me. Right here, copy. And I'm just going to close this out. So now I'm over here 
in my terminal. So we're just going to want to go to the first file, which is the banner file. So sudo etc ssh sshd banner. Now you can name this whatever you want. I just chose sshd banner, but if you want to just call it banner or security alerts or anything you want, you can just give it any file name you would like to have. All it's going to do is it just gives it a name and where to point it to when we can edit the config file later. So hit enter. Oh, that's because I didn't tell it what I want to do. My bad. No, no. There we go. So as you can see, it's a blank file. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this. And you could do this if you want with SSH. Like say you want SSH in the machine, you don't have access like I do directly to it. You can do that. Um, because what you're going to do at the end is you're just going to you know, restart SSH. So you'll be kicked out of it on the, your actual server. But when you log back in, you'll be greeted with all this information. Um, but mainly, if you're using anything with SSH or doing SSH work, you should be in front of the actual server just because in case you, you know, make a failed connection somewhere or do something wrong, you're not, you know, completely booted from it at the time. All right, so I went ahead and copied my banner here. Control X. We're going to save it. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to edit the config file. And the editing the config file, I'll go ahead and open it up real quickly. So in here, we're going to edit two things. Um, one, because if it's a fresh install for you, we're going to disable root login because we never want root, uh, root login to actually come in, which is somewhere in here. There you go. Permit root login. We're going to change this, line 32. And then down here at the banner, we're going to add this line of text. Okay. So from here, sudo nano etc ssh sshd config all right now i do recommend you doing other things to your ssh like changing the port adding encryption you know locking down clear passwords and so on um, i do cover that into a previous video so i do recommend you going back into my other videos here and look at my debian uh, how to secure a debian server and how to secure a linux um, i'm sorry how to secure a raspberry pi server sorry about that so first things first, we're going to go ahead and permit root login to no. All right, and then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. All right, went a little too far, but that's okay. To where it says banner. You're going to remove the pound sign, and you're just going to type in the location of the file that we just created. And see, this is where the, the name comes in. It doesn't care what the name is as long as it is a name. So like I said, we chose SSHD banner. If you just chose banner, that's perfectly fine. But this is acceptable in any way, shape, or form. You're just letting SSH know where the banner file is located. So now we're going to go ahead and save this information. All right, and now we just got to restart SSH. So sudo systemctl system control restart SSH. Now, just to make sure that it did restart, you can do sudo system control status SSH so there we go we now know it's actively running and the port numbers are all good and there's no errors and we're good also if you want to hit up and just go ahead and delete the word restart and type in status you're more than welcome to as well all right so now it's time to go test it out so I'm going to minimize this we're going to close out of both of these open up a new putty and I'm going to go ahead and log into it. Okay. I'm going to type in BM Advisor. And look at that. And now that's it. So now it's pretty much got anything you want. You can change this banner at any time you want. Um, all you have to do now, if you want to change the banner, just log into the sshd-banner file, change whatever you want, add things, delete things, and that's it. So I did say I was going to show you one more thing with this. So we're going to close this to log back into it later. We're going to go back over here into Debian. Now the mod file, which is the post. Again, if you're using encryption, you're not going to see this. This is for people who obviously don't want to use encryption or whatever. Or you're just messing around with it. You're more than welcome to just follow along with this. So, but I did say how to edit this. So you're going to type in sudo nano etc motd. 
Okay, and that's where it's located. So from there, we hit enter and look at that. There is everything here. So if you want, you can go ahead and change this information. Okay, by if it would just go ahead and delete for me. Just go ahead and do line by line. There we go. Okay, so now this place is empty. What I'm going to do is just type in this is not for anyone not authorized. Welcome, Will Robinson. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and just save this real quickly. And again, we're going to have to restart SSH. And again, I'm going to just jump right into PuTTY real quickly. And if you ever see the screen on here, you should hit yes if it's a common login into. But because I burn so many virtual machines doing this stuff and rechanging them, I usually don't bother keeping it because the keys usually change very often. So again, we're going to go ahead and log in. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. There it is. And then type in my password. And there you go. Now you're always going to get this as your, the, as a, as your message and you're always going to actually see this. So even if you deleted everything out here, you're always going to get the version of Linux you have and everything in your post message. All right. The only thing that changes is actually the, this, the second half, I guess, of the post message for it. But again, like I said, if you use encryptions like I do with the Raspberry Pi, you're never going to see that anyway, so it's not even worth it. So again, just to give you an idea, we're going to open it up. See, as you can see here, end of banner message, and there is no post banner message because it knows you're supposed to be here because you have the encryption key. And that's everything. So if you like the video, put a like down below. If you have any questions or comments, you go ahead and put that information down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can on any questions you have. Also, everything I went over in here will be available for you to download. So I will actually have the SSHD file, the banner file, the MOTD file, and a quick little guide of everything we went through, the locations and stuff in an actual zip file for you to download directly from our cloud server. Um, so you can go ahead and try this, copy, use the same one I do, change whatever you want. You're more than welcome to. Um, you can also go online and just type in um, ASCII tests, uh, Google banners, or any kind like that. Um, and you can just play around with it. But I do recommend anybody who runs SSH on their servers should have this on there. Um, again, just to try to do more deterring of people from hacking your servers. So, like I said, if you like, subscribe. I try to do videos all the time for about Raspberry Pi, about Linux, virtualization. So, come on back, take a look at my other videos. And if anything else, hope you guys have a wonderful evening.